Well, good morning, everybody. Mm, still hot. Uh, some of you may be wondering why I'm doing this and Kim's not. Well, that's because she still has an issue with her sore throat. So she asked if I could do this. And I said I would be happy to do this if I could put a Mikey flavor or twist into it. So this, this might be interesting. But uh, we just really um, found out that this announcement is going around. It's actually de uh, dated December 25th, 2023. December 25th. The celebration of the birth of something. Hmm. Interesting how Watchtower chose December 25th to date this announcement. This is for the congregations. This is the announcement. Merger of branch territory. In recent years, the governing body has simplified the administrative work being handled by branch offices in various parts of the world. The goal is to continue to provide good spiritual direction to our brothers in the field and at the same time to make the best possible use of dedicated personnel available to support the work. <laughs> Do you guys see the humor in this? <laughs> they don't have enough people reaching out to work at these branch offices because everybody's leaving you, Watchtower. Okay? And the simple fact of the matter is um, to continue to provide good spiritual direction. How was it good direction to convince everybody that the generation of 1914 will not pass away until all these things occur, including the start of the Great Tribulation. That was bad spiritual direction. I go on. With this in mind, the governing body has determined that the supervision of the kingdom work <coughs> excuse me, in Hong Kong will now come under the oversight of the Korea branch office. This transition will be accomplished in the coming months and in an orderly and theocratic manner. You know, like how Jehovah progressively reveals his plan. <laughs> yeah, well right now, Jehovah's Witnesses, Jehovah is progressively letting you know, bit by bit by bit, that your kingdom is falling apart. And yet the kingdom of these rich elites, the governing body, is getting richer and richer and richer based on your slave backs. Be assured that the needs of the congregations, of all the congregations now under the Hong Kong branch, as well as those of the faithful longtime members of the Bethel family and the special full-time servants in the field will be given loving attention. They'll get the loving attention, but the rank and file? Well, hey, just piss on them, right, Watchtower? Just let your elders disfellowship them. Because, see, we really don't care about the rank and file. We only care about the special brothers at Bethel. As more information becomes available on the specifics of the implementation of the merger, bodies of elders and congregations will be informed through correspondence from the branch office. So here again, Jehovah's Witnesses, I myself would like to express my thanks and gratitude for all of the Jehovah's Witnesses that donated money to the Hong Kong branch all of the Jehovah's Witnesses that donated their free labor for all of the free food, I would like to express my thanks on behalf of the governing body because now they're going to take that branch office and they're going to make billions of dollars selling the property and you rank and file won't see a dime one of it. So my personal thanks to you slave people that did this. Point number two, theocratic direction from the first century governing body brought great spiritual blessings to Jehovah's people. 
there was no first century governing body because the Apostle Paul went against the direction of that governing body and he went in the opposite direction. But you see, Watchtower, I carefully read these scriptures and I can read between the lines. If this was truly a governing body setting, then the Apostle Paul and Barnabas, uh, Barnabas' words would be recorded at Acts chapter 15, and they are not. I'm going to skip down to number three. Please be assured that this adjustment in theocratic oversight will in no way disrupt the vital arrangements in place for congregation meetings. But the generation of 1914 interrupted that vital arrangement, Jehovah's Witnesses. That generation is dead and gone. So is your organization. Only those that like feeding on the spiritual manure that is now coming out of the mouth of this governing body are the ones that will remain. Okay, the visits of uh, circuit overseers to the congregations or the scheduling of assemblies and conventions. It may be that congregations in need of additional elders, ministerial servants, will have assigned to this some of the mature brothers and sisters from Bethel who will receive assignments as regular or special pioneers. Indeed, exciting times are ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How much more exciting can it be for a guy like me to be able to throw and make Watchtower choke on that 1914 prophecy? How much more exciting is it for me to do this? I'm having the time of my life cramming this back down the throat of Watchtower. Because it's bullshit. It's always been bullshit. Number four. Now this one is really, this one really takes the cake. May we all be determined to benefit from these adjustments as we continue to follow our great shepherd who leads us to grassy pastures of spiritual peace and refreshment. <laughs> Can somebody please explain to me how they are having spiritual peace when the government of Japan, uh, Japan is jumping down their throats and even going so far as to include making your underage children go out and service as part of child abuse. Those, that's not spiritual peace. Watchtower, every time you flip-flop a doctrine to get legal recognition in another country, that's not spiritual peace. Yeah, you want to talk about grassy pastures, the only reason why you Jehovah's Witnesses have got grassy pastures is because you keep feeding on green bullshit because this stuff just keeps getting recycled and recycled and recycled and for some unknown reason current Jehovah's Witnesses like my mother love to feed on this grassy bullshit they'll never see it they'll never see it so now in conclusion we send to all of you an expression of our warm Christian love. <clears throat> that is until you decide to challenge them and then they disfellowship your ass for apostasy. How much love really is there, friends? How much? When they don't even blink an eye in disfellowshipping you if you dare challenge anything. That's not love. That's control through 2,000 years of social indoctrination using the concept of fear. Watchtower, you're no different than Christendom. No different whatsoever. You're making billions and billions of dollars off of the backs of slave laborers making them believe that they're doing it for the sovereign of the universe. Religion is a snare and a racket.